Today we're going to talk about addition patterns over increasing place values. What does that even mean? Let's look at some examples and maybe it'll be clearer. Here's a good example. Look at the left-hand side of these equations. The first column over here, the 7 starts out in the 1's place. That's what 7 means. In 70, though, the 7 is, has been moved one place over. Now it's in the 10's place. Then in 700, the 7 has been moved over again, now to the 100's place. Finally, in 7,000, the, the 7 has been moved all the way to the 1,000th place. So the number is staying the same, it's just we're adding additional zeros to shift it into higher and higher digit places. The same thing is happening with the 3. We start out with a 3 in the 1's place, then the 3 in the 10's place, the 100's in 300, and finally the 3 is in the 1000's place in 3000. It's a pretty clear pattern. We keep adding zeros and we keep shifting the digit over by one place. Let's try filling out the right hand side of this and see what pattern we see over there. 7 plus 3, that's 10. 70 plus 30 is 100. Already we can see the beginning of a pattern emerging. To go from 10 to 100, all you do is add a zero which is the same thing we were doing on the left-hand side. Let's see if that pattern continues. 700 plus 300 is 1,000. Again, as we go from 100 to 1,000, all we do is add a zero, shifting the whole thing one place to the left. Then 7,000 plus 3,000 is going to give us 10,000, which barely fits in this box. But, once again, we can see we add another zero. So what's the takeaway here? The main idea is that as you add zeros in the numbers that are being added, you add a zero in the sum of those numbers. That might still be a little confusing, so we'll look at another example in a minute after we fill in these numbers. We say 10, and then 100, 1,000, and 10,000. Here's another example. Again, on the left-hand side of the equation, what's happening? We're going from 7, shifting by 1 to 70, now in the 10's place instead of the 1's, adding another 0 to get 700, and a third 0 to get 7,000. The same thing happens with the 1. 1 in the 1's place, then a 1 in the 10's place, a 1 in the 100's place, and a 1 in the 1,000's place. On the right-hand side, 7 plus 1 is 8, 70 plus 10 is 80, 700 plus 100 is 800. And even without computing the sum, we can see the pattern. We're going to just add another 0 and get 8,000. And if we check, 7,000 plus 1,000 is actually 8,000. This pattern seems to be working. Let's check our answer. We said 8, 80, 800, and 8,000. Looks good. Now we're going in the other direction. We need, instead of filling out a sum that's increasing, now one of the terms that's being added is going to have to increase. But this is the same basic idea. What do we add to 5 to get 9? It has to be a 4. What do we add to 50 to get 90? It must be 40. And we can see the pattern that we've observed before. We keep adding zeros, both to the 5, which goes to 50, 500, and 5,000, and the 9, which goes to 90, 900, 9,000. Since we're adding zeros to those two parts of the sum, we must also add zeros to the 4. So we go 4, 40, 
then add another zero to get 4,400, and another zero to get 4,000. That's the pattern that we're looking for. This one looks a little different, but it's the same idea. We can see that in this column, we keep adding zeros. One, add a zero to 10, add a zero, get 100, add a zero, get 1,000. The same thing is happening on the right-hand side. We just keep adding zeros. So what that means is, if we can fill in this first box, then we know the rest of the box is right away. 1 plus what is equal to 10? Well, that's easy enough. That's 9. So we just keep adding zeros to that 9. 90, 900, and 9,000. And if you're ever unsure, you can always stop and check that one of your equations works. Say this one. Does 100 plus 900 equal 1,000? Yes. And if you're really unsure, you can write, it, write out the addition long way. 900, 100, and add. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0 again. 9 plus 1 is 10, which means we write down a 0, carry the 1, and we get 1,000. So it really does seem to be working. Once again, the same pattern is holding. The sevens keep getting zeros added to them. Seven, 70, 700, 7,000. On the right-hand side, we keep adding zeros to the 11. It doesn't make sense to say that there's an 11 in the ones place, since there can only be one digit in each place. So that way of phrasing the pattern doesn't quite work this time, but adding zeros still works. So all we do is we keep adding zeros. So let's see what goes in this first box. A four, because four plus seven is 11. Now we know what to do. Just add zeros to the four to fill out the rest of the boxes. So four, 40, 400, and 4,000. Here we've got another example. First, we check that our pattern is happening. Are we adding zeros to the eight? Looks like we are. Are we adding zeros to the 16? Again, looks like we are, adding one zero each time. That means all we need to do is solve the first equation. Eight plus eight is 16, and that will give us the rest of the answers. We'll get 80, 800, and 8,000. This is important because it saves us from having to do more work. When we figure out that 800 plus 800 is 1,600, we're not really doing a new uh, addition or subtraction to figure that out. All we're doing is extending the pattern, which is a lot easier. Here again, the first thing we check, does the pattern happen? 7, 70, 700, 7,000, looks good on the left. 15, 150, 1,500, 15,000, looks good on the right. So we fill out the first box, and then we automatically know what goes in all the other boxes. Not so tough. One more time. First, we check for the pattern. 5, 50, 500, 5,000. Looks good there. 14, 140, 1,400, 14,000. Looks good on the right. That means if we fill out this first box, 9 plus 5 equals 14. 
we know what goes in the rest of those boxes right away. So we get 9, then 90, then 900, then 9,000. One more time. Check for our pattern. 5, 50, 500, 5,000. Looks good over here. On the right-hand side, 13, 130, 1,300, 13,000. Looks good over there. That means once we know that an 8 goes here, we already know what goes in the rest of the spots. Let's see what those are. 8, then 80, because we add a 0, then 800, adding another 0, and finally 8,000. One last example. Check for the pattern. 4, add a 0 to get 40, add a 0 to get 400, add a 0 to get 4,000. Looks good. Then 9, add a 0 to get 90, another 0 for 900, and third 0 for 9,000. That means all we have to do is fill out the first box, and we know everything we need to. From there, we're just going to add zeros. 13, then add a 0 for 130, add another 0 for 1,300 or 1,300, and then finally a third 0 for 13,000. The, the one is still there, it just doesn't show up in the box all at once. And there we go.